Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Gramlin State University Sports Television Network. I'm Onaje Morris alongside Cleveland Jones, and we have a game here for you. Gramlin State University Lady Tigers will face off Arizona State Sun Devils. Gramlin State University is 1-2 and two on the season so far, and Arizona State is 3-0, and oh, and that's the same exact record that they started off with last year. We played Arizona State as well last year in the Pac-12 kind of tournament that Gramlin State and the SWAC was all having for the uh, beginning of the season last season and we lost to them last season hopefully we'll have a better game this season and we're going to get in a little bit of the starting lineup especially for Gramlin State University for Gramlin State University we'll have Dushan Preen our star player of the game I mean she's going to be one of the players that we're going to look forward to to scoring a lot of points and playing very well as well Demaya Young is one of our great players as well she is at a great position at the shooting guard position a great shooter as well Jasmine Jackson another shooting guard that we have out there we like to have a lot of guards out there we have a lot of shooters on the floor as once Anija Grant and then last but not least we have Brenda McKinning and our star player uh, Cleve kind of tell us a little bit about the star player DP Preen she's been doing great in the previous games that she's had before I mean, doing it all round for the season. I mean, for Grandma State University, of course, there's a new coach in system. We have Simmons as our new coach. And she came with Troy and had a great you know, career over there at Troy, won a couple of championships. She's going to try to have that replay here at Grandma State University. And so far, she's been doing the same things that she was doing over at Troy, having a lot of players, having above double-digit points and stuff. But for the starting lineup for, of course, Arizona State Sun Devils, which are 3-0 and right now, we have, of course, Kadisha Torres which is their their leading rebounder on the team right now and then Jaden Simmons we're going to get into more of her because they're their star player for Arizona State University Triana Chris she is going to be their other guard 5'8 sophomore and then number 11 Maggie Besslink and Besslink is one of their 6'3 she's a, listed as a, a forward but she kind of plays that center position and then last but not least Journey Thompson, who's also going to be playing for her. She's 6'3", and she plays a lot in that center position. But, Cleve, of course, we got, talked a little bit about the star player, but tell us a little bit more about her in depth. She's been having a great season so far. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Now, when it comes to defense, it's going to be the name of the game for Grandma State University. They're going to try to slow this offense down the best way that they can. We'll get into everything and more. We'll get into tip-off as well when we come back here on the Grandma State University Sports Television Network. Best tailgate, brisket. No, real football y pollo asado. Poops and wings, dude. Subs. Hot dogs. Chili dog. No, Dodger dog. It's gotta be crawfish. Now you talk burgers. Seven layer dip. Ribs. No contest. Hummus. Hum what? 
You need a hot grill and an ice cold Coke. Of course. Football and Coke. Come on. It's got to be Coke. Game day. Race day. Calls for Coke. You know it. Grab yourself a Coke. It's Tailgate 101. Did you know HBCUs are a great place to network? Yes. Did you know Cricket has a great network with speedy 5G and is a proud supporter of HBCUs? Yes. Mia, everybody already knows that. <laughs> we have tip-off underway as Gremlin State University, which is one and two, will face off against Arizona State Sun Devils. And we start off already with a foul, and that's going to send Brenda McKinney to the free throw line for two. Start this game off. Kenny got the free throw line. Now, Grambling State University last year, women's basketball team, of course, they have a new coach now, Simmons. Simmons coming over from Troy. I mean, had a great career over there at Troy. She had three championships over there at Troy in the Sun Belt Conference. It's 2016, 2017, and 2021. And she's looking to get a championship in the SWAC as both free throws were dropping. Both uh, two points are now on the board for Grambling State University. Scores now 2 0 at the very beginning of it. Top of the key, we got Chris. Chris. Pass the ball out. Blessing going to have it. Pass it back in and cut the layup. There's going to be a lot of contact on that one, and that's going to be a foul. That's going to be a Nigel Grant with the foul there, and that's going to send number two, Jada Simmons, to the uh, free throw line. And Jada Simmons is the star player of this team. I mean, her numbers is kind of incredible for these first three games. Yeah, it's definitely a name we're going to hear probably a lot tonight, most likely. Oh, most definitely. Having about 15 a game, getting down there and getting dirty with her rebounds, too. So I can't expect to see her at this line a lot. Hopefully we can keep her contained and under her averages, but we'll see what the uh, Tigers have in store. Dynamic player. When you're leading the stats and everything besides rebounds, I mean, yeah. you're, you're a pretty dominant player as both free throws were dropping. Gramlin and ASU are going to be tied up even at two here, taking it up court. We're going to have Preen. Preen finds Jackson. Jackson back to Preen. Preen takes it to the hole. The floater will not go. Rebound Arizona State going the other way. Real miss for DP this game, really. Real miss to start. We like to see the aggressiveness to see her get down and penetrate into the paint. Usually we'll see the finish, though. Yeah, playing into her game, I mean, Preen, as we've seen so far in the three games that have been happening so far in this game, uh, season, she's a new player, new to this team, but she plays her own kind of rhythm. They play around her in a sense, and she plays to the point of staying within the three-point line. She doesn't shoot too many three-pointers, but if you allow her to get comfortable back there, she will shoot away. Oh, yeah. Simmons. And you can't. Talking about DP, you got to mention that defense. Averaging 4.7 oh, steals yeah. this season. Second in the Four point seven steals is just insane. It's almost like uh, one of our players that we had last year as a second free throw will drop an is she will have a two point lead over Graham State University. Young finds McKinney. McKinney Jackson takes it up, and that's going to be a lot of contact. But it's going to just say it's a block. So there's going to be a block by Blesslink, and it's going to the ball's going to go back to Graham State University. Preen taking it out. Preen is going to find Amanda Blake. And Young with the shot, no good. But it's going to be a putback by McKinney. Right place, right time. Two points for Grambling State University, and we're tied up even at four. And that's going to be a real point of emphasis and key for us this game. With the size we give up on the lower half to Arizona State's big, we've got to have McKinney going down there for the follows. Yeah, most definitely. We, have, we see a lot of size on Arizona State oh. in, and that's going to be a foul on Jasmine Jackson. Too much contact there. But there's a, I mean, the size differential between Grambling State University and Arizona State, you could just look right here on the screen and just tell as there's so many players. I mean, even if you look at Jasmine Jackson compared to all these other players, they are, they definitely have the size advantage. Shot up by Torre, and that's going to be good. First free throw down, good for her. Torre's been a pretty, she's been a pretty consistent story this year. Coming in herself with 13.7 a game and leading her team with rebounding. 
have to keep her off that glass and slow her down in the paint if we want to make sure we stay in this game and, stop, and give us a chance to win. Two points for Arizona State. Score 6 4. Gramlin. Jackson with the three pointer and it dribbles in as Jasmine Jackson gets herself going with her first points of the game. Gramlin State University reclaims the lead. 7 6 is your score. Torre passes it to Chris. Chris back out to Simmons. Simmons is going to take it. Simmons. Mid-range, stop and pop, no good. Rebound by Arizona State University, put back up. No good as well. Another rebound by Arizona State. And now they're going to take their time. Chris at the top, Jasmine Jackson in front of her. Jasmine Jackson almost was able to get a handle of that ball and steal away, but there's going to be a foul instead. And Arizona State is going to reset here. Just watching that 6-3 Thompson frame taking over and really making it difficult and extending those plays. Those, can't give up those second chance opportunities. And, and you need to really take into your mic a little bit closer to your mouth. I can't bear with you. <laughs> Taking it in. Shot up. No good. Rebound. Graham State University going the other way. It's going to be Carter. Carter tries to pass it. And that three-pointer will not be any good by Young. Get the rebound by Grandma State University. Got a, some new faces out there as well. Gardner tries to put her shoulder down, and that's going to be a foul on her going the other way. Arizona State will have the ball. Speaking of those new faces, we just had Mosley chase down that offensive rebound. <laughs> Arizona State will be taking it out. Simmons taking it up. Simmons has Carter in front of her. Full court press here. Simmons passes to Thompson. Thompson finds Bless Link. Bless Link finds Chris. Chris finds Thompson. Torrey with the mid-range shot. No foul, and it's going to be no good as well. Carter taking it the other way. Carter with a nice pass, but it's just intercepted right there by Torre. Torre was able to get in the passing lanes and going the other way is Chris. Chris with the dribble drive, the layup, and it's going to be no good. Rebound by Graham State University. Young going the other way. Carter with the fast break layup, and it is going to be good for two. Gramlin State University now takes a nine-point lead, scores nine, six, six minutes left in the first half, first quarter, excuse me. Sit that play, we really got to see Grambling State win this basketball at their best, getting to get up and down in transition, getting the steal, getting the easy fast break points, what we need to really stay in this game and protect our lead. Chris finds Simmons for the mid-range shot. It's going to be no good going the other way. Will be McKinning, but it's going to go out of bounds, but it'll remain Grambling State University's ball. We have a new face coming in, Casey Chairs. Casey Chairs is the leading scorer in the first game of the season. She has 17 points in that 93-point win for Gramlin State University here at home, their first and only win of the season so far. And that was the last time they had a home game, so we'll see if home is just a lucky charm for them as Carter will pass it to Mosley. Mosley with the shot up, and it's going to be no good. A rebound, fighting forward. Arizona State will have it. That'll be Simmons that had curled the ball and was able to come down with it, and Arizona State will remain possession with the ball. Some new faces, everybody that's out there for Grandma State University. Of course, we have Ariana Mosley on the floor for the first time tonight. Casey Chairs, Demaya Young, which is the only starter still in, Tina, Tiana Gardner, and last but not least, Carter on the floor as well. For Arizona State University checking in, we have number 30, Marsha Wiggins. They just checked in. Simmons with the ball to Wiggins. Wiggins looking to Ray Lowe, but she's going to pass it to Simmons. Simmons has Demaya Young in front of her. Simmons kicks out with the shot by Chris. Three-point shot will be no good. Carter comes down with the rebound. Graham State University going the other way. Chris with some smothering defense as she was able to, with some active hands, steal the ball. And it's going to be a jump ball. Don't know who they're going to decide to give the ball to because 
in college basketball, women's college basketball, they do not do jump ball. Men's and women's, they do not do jump ball. They will just decide who will have the ball off of possession, and Grambling State University will get the ball. Carter finds Casey Chairs. And throughout this game, we're really seeing Chris have a big impact on our guards a lot, putting a lot of pressure on him, making it hard for them to dribble and really smothering them on that top of the key. As Amaya Young was able to get the mid-range shot to bounce off the rim and go right in the bucket for two, scores 11-6 as Grandma State University has not allowed Arizona State to score in the last three minutes, and that changes right there as I probably jinxed them as Chris was able to get the inside bucket to go in. Excuse me, Torrey. And that's going to be a traveling violation by Casey Chairs after the pump fake. She's going to take too many steps there without a suitcase. And we're going to have a timeout here by Grambling State University. We'll need a timeout here. The score is 11-8. Grambling State University is up. And we're going to take a break as well. We'll be right back here on the Grambling State University Sports Television Network. Did you know HBCUs are a great place to network? Yes! Did you know Cricket has a great network with speedy 5G and is a proud supporter of HBCUs? Yes! yes. Mia, everybody already knows that. <laughs> Dante, did you know this is an A and B conversation? So you need to see yourself at. He knows now. <laughs> Save the change its entire location in pursuit of sunlight. Where could reinvention take your business? Accenture, let there be change. When you join the HBCU family, you become part of the tradition of breaking barriers in your community, breaking ground in your career, and bringing it with everything you do. From how you look, to how you move in the classroom, on the court, and on the field. That's why Academy Sports and Outdoors is proud to celebrate the HBCU legacy and all those to add to it in their own way. Welcome back here to the Grandma State University Sports Television Network. I'm Onaj Morris alongside me. We're going to get right back into action here at Grambling State University is ahead of Arizona State University here in Grambling, 11 to 8. And so far, we've been having a little bit of a back and forth, but it's kind of showing that Arizona State size is going to be an advantage for them in this game as we see the couple offensive rebounds being put back for some points. And uh, it just shows that Grambling State University size is just a little bit different, and it's just uh, overwhelming them in a sense. A couple of stats that we have here, total points, for Arizona State, the, the leaders that they have is Simmons with four points and Torre with four points as well. And our leader in points is Brennan McKinney with four points. And like I said, the size advantage seems to be a huge uh, advantage for Arizona State, but Grandma State University is still yet to be able to keep in the lead and really not have been able to let Arizona State really get ahead of them in a sense. And it's surprising to see that you look at the stats sheet, Grambling State is actually leading in rebounds right now over Arizona State. So that size advantage is being played on the court, but the stats sheet is not showing it. As Simmons will be taking it up, Carter on him. Simmons, Demaya Young switches off on Simmons. That's going to be Wiggins with the dribble drive, and Wiggins will get the easy layup to drop, and that is going to be two points for Arizona State. Casey Chairs. Finds McKinney, McKinney with a dribble drive herself, a little floater for two. Back and forth action here to start off from the break. Grambling State University has a three point lead over Arizona State. We are four minutes left in this very first quarter of this game. As Thompson finds Wiggins, Wiggins finds Chris. Chris with the mid range stop and pop, and it dribbles around and it will find the bottom of the net. And another two points for Arizona State as we've been seeing tick for tack so far since we came back from the break. And watching that bucket by Simmons, you've seen Mosley with the with the uh, transition try to get the steal, unable to commit it a little too much, or got to just slow down and stay more disciplined on those kind of plays. 
McKinney's shot no good. As Simmons take her time. Carter still in front of her. That's been her defensive assignment so far. Chris passes it to Thompson. Thompson travels as she was trying to split the double team. And she's going to travel there, giving Grandma State University the ball. Great defense there by Casey Chairs and Demaya, Demaya Young. As Demaya Young has been on help defense all night so far. She's been double teaming every chance that Grandma State University needed. We have some new faces on the floor. Uh, of course, Jasmine Jackson coming back in as one of our starters on the floor. And of course, number one for Grambling State University, Prien checking back in. DP with the ball, passes it to Casey Chairs with the deep three. It's gonna be a little short and Arizona State will get the rebound. Simmons taking it up court. Jackson in front of her. Simmons passes it. And you like seeing Fine those shots from Casey. You really like seeing those kind of threes from Casey. Seeing the shooter with confidence without hesitation. Really gives that Grandma State offense a different look. Hunt with the shot. No good. As that's going to be Torre with the offensive rebound. She puts it back up and will be fouled in the process. We'll go to the free throw for line for two. But I kind of found this funny. Uh, number 12, who just checked in, her name is Treasure Hunt. <laughs> I, I even asked the uh, Arizona State University commentator, uh, radio commentator who's next to us right now about that. And, I mean, he every time he says somebody mentions it, they get a giggle out of it. Torrey at the free throw line. First one drops. And now we're tied even at 13 apiece. Two minutes and 47 seconds left in this first quarter low scoring but a lot of back and forth yeah not Second surprising this is a low scoring is, uh, a fair though seeing as Grambling defense is the fourth best in the squad holding teams to my, below 71 again you expect this to be a dog fight for real Jasmine Jackson with the dribble stop and pop no good and we're gonna have a stop We're gonna see what the stop was for. Maybe, yes, yeah, shot clock. When it changed the shot clock, it went from 19 to 17 seconds. So, I believe the stop, the shot clock stopped for a second. Green passes to Jackson. Jackson thought about it. Double team came her way. Jackson with the dribble floater, no good. She tries to tip it off for the rebound. Arizona State will get it. Chris taking it up. Chris. Loses it. Good steal by Prien. Prien, dribble drive, fast break. And she will be fouled on the layup attempt. And she's kind of wobbling a little bit, limping off from that layup attempt. She will go through the free throw line for two. Hopefully she's okay. And we talked about it earlier, jinxing the team. Hopefully we jinx Prien with those 4.7 and steals. Yeah. Bare minimum we should get to that today. Most definitely. As you saw there, active hands. I mean, she was able to get all in there. And she's a great way of getting steals. And I think the main thing about getting steals is figuring out how to do it without fouling. And she 100%. did a great job there, especially in transition. It's a lot harder than people like to make it seem. You have to know where to have your hands at perfect places and also not be too physical in a sense as well as both free throws will drop for Grambling State University. Now the score is 15-13. Those two free throws being dropped has now separated Grambling State University from Arizona State University by two points with two minutes here left in the first quarter. As we'll have Amanda Blake check in in the game. She was just named recently team captain for this Lady Tigers, and she will get the steal in the passing lanes. Soon as she checks in, making an impact as Prien is dribbling up a court. Immediate impact. In the, in the paint, Amanda Blake is being double teamed. She finds a way to kick it back out, but that's going to be a foul on her as she pushes off of the double team. There's a lot of physicality there on that play in general, but Amanda Blake will be the one guilty it's always the one who gets seen last being the one who yeah. gets the foul. All the time, every time. It's funny, it was our friend Treasure Hunt out there taking that foul too. Oh yeah, as there is gonna, Simmons is gonna take it up for Arizona State. Currently seeing the pressure from number three Mosley on our team, the young new freshman guard from South Florida. And we do have a lot of new faces on this team, especially from last year, a little bit 
But push off, push off from Wiggins, shot, three-point oh, shot, no good. Carter, three on the, oh, on the fast break, and that's going to travel out of bounds as Carter was all by herself on the fast break, and the pass came a little bit late, and it was wide over her head, and it was going to travel out of bounds. Grandma State University is going to have another turnover, and we have somebody else checking in for Grandma State University, number 44, Devon Harris. As we have Preen guarding Simmons, Wiggins with the ball, passing to Blessing. Chris has it, and Carter in front of her. Chris passes to Simmons. Wiggins. Chris with the pump fake, nice pump fake, and the mid range shot and pop. And she's going to see the bottom of the bucket. Nice move by her. And that's going to be a block by Blessing on the other end, Arizona State. Oh, doing it on both ends. Simmons with the fast break, and that is going to be a foul. That's going to be a charging foul, and that's going to be great luck by Grand State University because Arizona State was starting to get their momentum to build off of those two plays. Great offensive play by Chris, and then another great defensive play by Blessing. Grand State University will have the ball back with 15 even, 46 seconds left on the board. I have to ask you, with turnovers, do you believe those should be steals if you take a charge? I think uh, I think that could that, that should, should count, count as a turnover because you know when it I do like at least yeah. a turnover yeah, that is a good that should actually count as a turnover I never thought of it like that as the ball is almost lost McKinney fighting for it Simmons fighting for it as well as he's getting a little bit of chippy Simmons and McKinney both not trying to let back from the ball. <laughs> and you're hearing <laughs> things being said from the crowd that we will not repeat. Grand but family in full effect full out here Full effect today. out here. Hey, we support our own. <laughs> <laughs> As McKinney and Simmons were literally fighting over the ball there, Arizona State University will get the ball, will have possession. Coach Simmons, she loves intensity, but she didn't like it like that. Yeah. As Chris passes it back to Simmons, Simmons taking it up court. Carter in front of her, full court press. As Simmons will find Hunt. Hunt looking for Wiggins, will find Wiggins, and Wiggins finds Chris. Wiggins thought about it, it was a travel there, but it's not going to be called. Blessing pass it back to Chris, and Chris with a deep three pointer. It's going to be good for Arizona State, and they will reclaim the lead. With a few seconds left here in this first quarter, 18 to 15 is your score as Priyan will be fouled, taking it to the cup. She'll go to the free throw line for two. And with these last three seconds left in the first quarter, it would be almost disrespectful to not mention how deep his energy is just being everywhere throughout on this court right now has really impacted and kept Gramley fighting in this game where they have them, really competing with this team. Yeah, this is, is not been expected. I mean, last year when they played Arizona State as free as free throw goes down, they did not really start off well, and that was really the case for the rest of the game as they went on to lose it. But in this one, it kind of just seems like a new atmosphere. And also, take in mind, last year they did play in Arizona State as well as – they were able to get the offensive rebound, and Chris goes up for the block on Prien, and she's going to be called for a shooting foul, and Prien will go back to the free throw line, and this will give Grandma State University the opportunity to tie this game up going into the second quarter. You can really see the new coach that we have seen being in full effect under our new coach, seeing her yeah. impact and how she's changing and turning things around. Yeah, new energy behind the team as well. As Freddie Murray was last year's previous coach and he was fired, Grandma State University did make it as the eighth seed in the playoffs last year and almost beat Jackson State, which was the number one seed, but did not. As the first quarter will end, Grambling State University and Arizona State University are tied even, 18 apiece. We'll be right back here on the Grandma State University Sports Television Network for the second half. Louisiana National Bank is a proud community partner and loyal supporter of local education. LNB is excited to cheer on the Grambling State Tigers. Stop into Louisiana National Bank today to experience uncommon banking. To learn more, visit ln.bank. Huge play coming up. 
Yes. Talking about dropping the ball. I got the score. <laughs> to Steven's Hardy Dippers. You want to be like the greats? First, believe you are. Greatness requires drip, not like that. Like this. The greats aren't afraid to fail. They're fueled by it. Trophies require greatness, but greatness doesn't require trophies. Because greatness isn't about what you've done, it's about what you do next. From now on, it's all about us. Starting a family, buying a car, our first home. They told you to open an account, then turned you away. They said, come back when you're ready. You said, we are ready now. I know we're gonna make it. Hope makes it happen. Thousands of your neighbors, many who never had a bank account before, improved their lives with Hope Credit Union. You can too. Brighter futures begin with hope. Finally, another wide receiver in the house, my man. So, you ready to learn how the Heismans do it? Can't wait. Once at eight, then again at six. Hi, did one of you gentlemen use Nissan at home to order 40 Pathfinders? Baker said it's another Heisman thing. I didn't think you'd believe me. Here are your keys, sir. Building champions for life didn't just happen overnight. Since 1920, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, SWAC, has been in the forefront in leadership and excellence in all our athletic programs. There are very few major sports halls of fame that a SWAC athlete is not a member. Hall of Fame coaches who were stewards and mentors to these elite athletes. Our tradition, our distinction, our legacy. We are the SWAC, building champions for life. Where could reinvention take your business? Accenture, let there be change. Doritos created Solid Black in 2021 to help fuel the initiatives of black leaders seeking to drive real change. Like Alvin Irby, his vision to spread literacy, literally. Or Marvin Pierre, who's empowering our youth with skills that bridge the opportunity gap. Or Jessica Johnson, whose dedication to dreams helps make college a reality. And many more. Check out their stories and help shape change. We are Solid Black. Join us and try another angle. Welcome back here to the Grambling State University Sports Television Network as we're starting off the second quarter. Grambling State University and Arizona State University are tied even 18 apiece in the first quarter. We had a lot of back and forth, a lot of fouls as well as we're going to, ball is going to travel out of bounds. It's going to stay with Grambling. It's going to stay with Grambling as Prien takes it out, but it's a lot of things in that first quarter that we saw a lot of back and forth and Grambling State University is tied with Arizona State as the mid-range stop and pop is no good by Harris. It is going to be taken the other way by Arizona State as Chris takes it up. Sun Devil is going to slow it down. Blessing finds Torre. Torre finds Wiggins. Wiggins finds Hunt. Hunt try to dribble drive. Blessing with the easy layup. Back door cut wide open. Nobody there to stop her. As she gets the easy two, the first points of the second quarter, and Arizona State will take a two-point lead here. Carter kicks it out to Casey Chairs. Mid-range shot. No good. Rebound by Grandma State University. Prien finds Carter. Carter with the three-point shot. Two hands, and the face is not good enough for her as the three-pointer will drop, and Grandma State University reclaims the lead by 1.21 to 20 with eight minutes and 40 seconds left in the second quarter. And seeing that three go down was a, a good sight for sore eyes. This game hasn't been the best shooting game. Two, both te teams combined for two for seven in that first quarter. Seeing us get that three go down was a beautiful thing. But like you mentioned in that first quarter, it was a very chippy foul-led game. Seeing Torre get fouled three times by herself and DP for us getting fouled three times. We're really seeing that size difference being a stretch for the Grandma State Tigers. Casey Tears 
corner three. Bang away as she is, has another three-pointer on the board. Score is now 24-20. Grandma State University takes a four-point lead in the second quarter as Grandma State University is really laying it on to the Sun Devils right now. Bless Link finds Torrey. Torrey will get fouled by Harris. Harris' first foul so far here in this game. And like we said, like you were saying, Cleveland, we've seen chippiness so far. We've already seen Simmons, and uh, we've seen Simmons and McKinney go at it already. We've seen a lot of fouls so far. Both of these teams have been playing physical, but they have not been able to give one of each other a really much of a, a, a separation or a lead. It's been a lot of back and forth. There's no edge on either side right now, and I think this is something that Arizona State or uh, really came in and did not expect to, for it to be like this so far. Oh, yeah, those which is surprising because coming into the Frederick C. Hobby Arena, you had to expect this was going to be a dog fight and it wasn't going to be an easy walk in and win. Especially when we got DP down there leading the way with our defense and our offense, you had to expect us to put up a good fight this game. And not even put up a fight. Right now we're currently leading the way 24 to 22. Both free throws will drop. Grandma State University is now down by uh, up by two as Prien. With a nice head, he's gonna pass it back out. And Young with the deep three pointer and another one for Gremlin State University. Make it three in a row. Trey ball from Young. And that's gonna make Gremlin State University have a, I believe that is a five point lead here, 27 to 22. As Chris finds Thomas, Thomas back to Chris. And Chris will have a three pointer of her own as we're having a shootout here, old Western shootout between Arizona State and Grambling State University as the score now is 27-25. Grambling State University is only up by two. Carter finds Prien, Prien to Demaya Young. Young, mid-range shot, no good. Kisses the front of the rim, will be going the other way. Wiggins, Carter in front of her, is gonna slow it down, had a fast break opportunity, is not gonna take it. Bless link to Chris. It's interesting, watching this game, you would think they was listening to the broadcast. Three straight three-pointers in a row. Oh man, what? Three of them bang away as Prien almost comes up with a, a steal. And I think technically that counts as a steal as she was able to poke it away. And it's gonna be a turnover for Arizona State University. And Grambling State University will have possession as Prien takes it up. Prien finds, oh nice Euro. Nice Euro by Harris. And it just will not drop as she is. She drops Bless Link for the Euro, and it just doesn't go in. And it's going to be Arizona State University's ball. But nice move by Harris. Had the feet work of a Russian ballerina there. Oh, goodness gracious. It's like a good, beautiful European Oh, big. man. Uh, uh, Nikola Jokic, where are you? She's little, stealing her moves. Little Hakeem messed with the dream. Just a little bit. I didn't know she had that as she drops the defender. Just couldn't get it the bucket to fall. But uh, hey, if you ask me, I'll put that on top 10 ESPN. Oh, 100%. Drop the shoulder like Shaq too with the <laughs> light seat. Oh my God. Crisp taking it up. Ooh, that's good. On her carry for sure. But no call there. Chris finds Hunt. Hunt to Torre. Torre with nice footwork of her own and she will get the end one bucket to fall. As that was Harris on the foul. Just nice footwork by Torre as she was able to work around her and get the layup to fall. And Arizona State now is tied even with the opportunity to get a one point lead with this free throw. One and only free throw is good. Arizona State now takes a one point lead, 28 to 27. Prien finds Carter. Carter tries to find McKinney and it travels out of bounds. Almost became a hazard for one of the cheerleaders. And it's now gonna go to Arizona State University. Thompson gives it to Chris. Chris takes it up, Prien playing defense on her and Prien has been playing just smothering defense on Chris. As Torre tries to set the screen, it doesn't work. Finds Hunt. Hunt with Young all over. 
Hunt finds Torre. Torre with the mid-range pop to go in. Hand in the face did not matter. And Arizona State now takes a three-point lead, the biggest lead that they've had so far in this game. And with that bucket, we see Torre go to 13 points of the night with five straight in the last two possessions. Seeing this game, we came in expecting to have Simmons as our lead scorer, but with Torre averaging 13 this season, it wasn't unexpected to see this kind of output this early in the game. Harris fights for the ball, and it goes out of bounds, and Harris is now going to check out, and Gardner is going to check in, and McKinney checks out, and Casey Chairs is going to check in for her. Two new faces in for Grand State University. It's going to be the same lineup right now for Arizona State University. Chris, Torre, Hunt, Leslink, and Thompson, as the ball will be tipped and is going to be turned over as Chris has it. Chris with Preen in front of her. Chris finds Thompson. Thompson with Gardner in front of her. Chris with the deep three-point shot is not going to be any good. As Young was able to get the rebound, Young taking it up. 3-2, two, two, fast break. Casey chairs, three-pointer no good. Gardner with the offensive rebound. The putback is going to be blocked by Hunt. It's going to be out of bounds. Graham State University will have the ball back. We have five minutes left. In this first half, Prian finds Young. Thompson in front of her. Young is going to take her time passing to Casey Chairs. Casey Chairs directing traffic. Casey Chairs yelling at the ref. Please. Yeah, you've seen a lot of for struggling. a timeout, I mean, they were struggling for one. As Simmons, Coach Simmons has been trying to get a timeout for at least two possessions there, was finally able to get it. With four minutes and 57, uh, seven, 57 seconds left on the board, the score is 30-27. And so far, I mean, a lot of chippiness, but Arizona State University is now finding their footing and pulling away a little bit with three points so far. Get it. You see them start to pull away a little bit, but Grambling hasn't allowed them to get too far away. Where could reinvention take your business? Accenture, let there be change. HBCUs are anchored by legacy. They nurture the talent and determination of their students and prepare them for a bright future. The Home Depot's Retool Your School program has and still believes in the excellence of HBCUs. Committed not just in speech, but through the revitalization and upgrades of the campuses these students call home. Building, planting, tilling the dream, all hearts and countless volunteers on the ground. Retool your school. We're powered by purpose. This is it. Our last night sharing a room. Tomorrow, we'll be in our new home. They told you buying a home would take years, but didn't help you start. Still, you kept trying. You'll have a yard to play in, a place to dream. Hope makes it happen. With tailored mortgage solutions, Hope Credit Union makes home ownership happen for thousands of people, regardless of income or credit. Brighter futures begin with hope. Welcome back to the Grambling State University Sports Television Network. I'm Odonte. We're powered Sports by purpose. And we're going to get right back here in action in this second this quarter. This is it. Our last seconds. night sharing Arizona a room. Tomorrow. Really we'll getting comfortable with their first true lead of the game so far. 30 to 27 is your score. Arizona State is up. And uh, we've been having a, a back and forth game so far. And more than you would expect in this game, especially with the competition and the level of competition, we've been seeing a lot better defense. And this is Simmons' era. I mean, this is a whole new team, a whole new identity behind this team. We have some returning players from the uh, Freddie Murray's team last year, but still really a different look for this team so far. Yeah, you're really starting to see that impact of the Simmons era too with the guard impact and the guard play. But also you have to shout out the three-point increase in shooting this year and this game. Like the stat is showing, Grant Grandma State University has already knocked down four for eight from the three-point line, four for nine, excuse me. And then you have Arizona State on their side, two for five. 
Yeah, but I mean, three point wise, I mean, especially in the in in at that eight to seven minute range in the second quarter, Gremlin was able to knock back three after three after three. I think three threes in a row to be exact. Demaya Young hit one. Casey Chairs was able to hit one, and then Demaya Young hit another one. So we were able to see a couple threes from him. That's how they were able to really stretch away. Now Arizona State University is now starting to get comfortable with their shots and starting to find their offense. So Grammar State University is going to have to keep it up to try to stay ahead of this game or even close as Gardner gets the ball poked away by Blessing and Arizona State will have it. Chris taking it up. Chris has Carter in front of her. And with that turnover, that is another point of emphasis that we have to slow down and actually control more. With nine turnovers, nine turnovers on the game with four and a half left to go in the second, it's already a little too much of giving it away. Too many opportunities that we're losing on the offensive side. As Torre could not get the point to go down in the paint, Casey Chair's corner three will not be any good. And like you said, Cleveland, we really have to knock it down with the turnovers. Been having too many so far, and the fouls. A lot of uh, mistakes being made on the defensive end and offensive end. They just have to clean up certain things as far as turnovers and fouls so far in this game. As Torre with the mid-range shot, no good rebound. Casey pops it up, and Prien taking it other way. Prien with the euro to the right, and it's not going to be any good. Layup no good as Gardner almost came down with it and it will travel out of bounds. And I believe that's going to go to Arizona State University. We have some new faces checking in. We have Jasmine Jackson checking in. We have McKinney checking in. And we also have number 15 for Grambling State University, Anijah Grant checking in. And coming out with Demaya Young, Casey Chairs, and uh, Gardner. As Jasmine Jackson with the three-point shot right off the bench. She's going to make it. Three-pointer to tie this game up. 30 apiece with three minutes and 40 seconds left in this first half. As Jasmine Jackson had a statement to make coming off the bench. It's Prien playing really tight defense on Chris. And to see that three-pointer that improves Grandma State to 5-10 on the night, making it 50% with another steal from the defense. And the foul, we yeah. finally get one for the game. Yeah, for, the, the, finally, it's Torre fouls. Uh, Carter there, Carter was jumped all in the passing lanes there and was able to really pick that ball off for the steal, taking it the other way, and she got fouled. It should be a transition foul, but they're going to let them take it out. Prien's going to be the one taking it up. Demaya Young is going to check back in for Carter. Demaya Young is going to take it out. It's interesting seeing the foul difference being at home, too, right now. It's kind of interesting seeing Arizona State getting that favor on the on the foul side, getting those calls that could be a little bit more questionable on the 50-50 side. Brian Jackson with another deep three oh, and another patient. one back to back. How do you do, Jasmine Jackson? Back in the game and automatically scoring six points in a push off by Chris. And that is going to bring the momentum up for Grambling State University almost by 100% as they're doing it on both ends, offensively and defensively. Man, Grambling really getting it done right now. You see a DP do what she does best, be a pest on defense oh. and really force that offensive player to make a tough play. Nick Brett finally caught that extension on the arm that we've been asking for the past three plays. And we see the outcome of it. Prien finds Jackson to Young Young with the deep three and another deep three, three in a row. Bang, bang, bang. How do you do as Grandma State University, three in a row, three pointers now put them up six points, 36 to 30. Two minutes and 30 seconds left in this set. In first half as another foul as they're able to do it on both ends as McKinney draws the foul from Thompson. And oh boy, do you have the energy here now. Oh, yeah, it's almost infectious. You can really feel it. McKinney setting the tone, oh, yeah. going to take that charge. The three is improving and getting everybody ready. It's a fun time to be it's at the in Hobby full Arena right now. It's effect right now. The energy is almost through the roof. It's so much that we're going to have to take a timeout ourselves. We'll be right back here on the Grambling State University Sports Television Network. Attention all Medicaid beneficiaries. You can now qualify for free cell phone service with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data. You heard that right. You can now get your cell phone service and high-speed data absolutely free. 
from a government program called the Affordable Connectivity Program. Just call 800-211-7670 right now to see if you instantly qualify. All callers can qualify based on your income or if you receive assistance from federal public housing, a Pell Grant, SSI, or even free or reduced price school lunch programs. If you or someone in your household is enrolled in Medicaid or any other government assistance programs, you can now instantly qualify to get free cellular service and high-speed data. Plus, keep your phone number with your new free service. Even if you're paying for your plans now with another carrier, you can switch to a free talk, text, and data plan if you qualify. Just call 800-211-7670 to qualify instantly for your free talk, text, and data service. Plus, even get free high-speed internet service. This free program is open and available, so call now. Call 800-211-7670. Here, 800-211-7670. I'm Morris alongside Cleveland Jones, and we're right back into action. And Jasmine Jackson, right. deep three, four in a row. I mean, Gremlin is just unstoppable from deep right now. As the floor is no good by Chris, and that's going to travel out of bounds and remain with Arizona State University. But Gremlin State University is trying to be charged with arson because they're setting this place ablaze so far with four threes in a row going into the half. We have two minutes left until we get to halftime, but nine-point lead as Grandma State University had just came down from three points. They were down by three points just not too long ago. Now a nine-point lead after four threes in a row. Thompson, mid-ranger, will drop as the score now is 39-32 with one minute and 50 seconds left. Demaya Young finds Jackson. Jackson with another deep three and five in a row. I mean, it must be magic in the ball. There must be something going on because they just cannot be off target as another three drops. And Grambling State University now has a 10-point lead. And Arizona State University just seemed flustered as Demaya Young tips the ball out of bounds. And I mean, firing on all cylinders yeah, right now something in the water right now whatever they put in that power a tonight we need every game this is a shootout we <laughs> as <laughs> catch me check me in coach oh hey i, I mr b i just saved about a thousand dollars worth least. of equipment just now <laughs> hey put you slap me invoice. on the head you just you give me a hug now you uh, did desperately after that one chris at the top of the key Look a little bit like DP with that save a little Bro, yeah, bit. What? Thought. Just caught it right in range as there is going to be another great defensive play by Prien. As she was able to stop that one, it's going to be a foul on Prien, but I mean, she has been all over everything. She plays like Patrick Beverly in a sense, if you ask me, and she's going to check out at Carter. is going to check in for her. We only have a minute and 13 seconds left in this first half. Amanda Blake is also on the court as well for Gramlin right now. Might as well give everybody out there. Demaya Young, Jasmine Jackson. We also have, uh, I believe that is Anija Grant and then Amanda Blake. Last but not least, Jordan Carter on the floor for Gramlin State University. For Arizona State is Chris Wiggins, Thompson, Leslink, and... Masalango as the shot will be good. Score now is 42-34, a minute left in his first half. As Young puts up the three-pointer and another one. Another one. Where is DJ Cali when you meet him? Another one. Another three falls. And Grambling State University now takes an 11-point lead off of five threes in a row as Chris tries to put up one of her own. It will be no good. Offensive rebound by Arizona State University. Jasmine Jackson in front of Chris. She passes it to Thompson. Bless Link. Bless Link dribbling around Young with the dribble drive. Layup no good. Offensive rebound by Arizona State. Two offensive rebounds in a row by Arizona State University. And Jasmine Jackson is going to be foul. Going to be called on the foul there for a reaching. Almost surprising to see the foul call. The way Gremlin Tigers are rolling right oh, now, yeah. you're surprised to see they can do wrong with these makes, man. Oh, my goodness. I mean, five threes in a row. I mean, anything they jack up just seems to fall. And it's not just going in. It's, it's going just, straight it's, through. It's straight through. Straight oh, and it's not hitting no rim. They're not calling bank nothing. They man. just uh, straight into the net. I, don't, I mean, I, it, uh, I'm lost for words. I haven't it's seen anything like that in quite some time. Arizona State taking it out. Chris. Has the ball. Jasmine Jackson almost came up with the spill. 
McKinney's going to switch off on Chris. Chris looking. She's going to pass it to Wiggins. Wiggins finds Blesslink on the other end. Blesslink with the dribble drive, and she's going to be fouled, taking it to the cup by Demaya Young as she just gets a little bit too much contact there and hit the forearm, and that's going to be a call of foul every time as that's the first foul pass for it to Demaya Wiggins. Young. Wiggins finds Blesslink on the other end. Blesslink with the dribble come a drive, bit from and Young. she's going to be fouled, her taking you it to the cup. You can see her get a little too disciplined sometimes and over-exaggerating, overplay on defense. So, so for the second half, that is something to look forward to. Oh, most definitely. They have a lot to look forward to after this first half has gone down like this as the first free throw for Blessing does not fall. Second attempt up. Second attempt will not fall as well, but the offensive rebound, another offensive rebound for Arizona State as the shot clock is going down. Chris forced to put up a three for the buzzer beater will be no good as Gramlin State University will go into the half 45 to 34. We're going to send it to our sideline reporter, Tamaya Johnson, to talk to our head coach, Simmons, for the sideline for the halftime report. A lot of smiles here on the on the floor. How do you feel going into the half? Man, uh, I haven't seen our kids shoot this shoot the ball this well since we were shooting on the gun a couple days ago. Um, I'm just excited. We're following the game plan. We're doing all the little things right. I tell the girls all the time, just keep it very simple. Beans and rice. Beans out of the can, not white rice from Chipotle, just regular plain white rice like your grandma cooking. And I think we're doing a good job of that, and I think that's why we, we found a way to take the lead. Yes, ma'am. A very, very productive practice, and I think it's definitely showing today. How do you feel that is implemented in this game today? I think uh, I told the girls I haven't lost two games in a row since 2016. So uh, practice was very intense yesterday. Shoot around was very intense. And I think that they want to win more than just for themselves, but we want to win for, the, for our grand fam. We're getting some people to roll in here, and we're just trying to put on the show for our home crowd. We don't want to ever lose at home. Yes, ma'am. DP is making a difference tonight. How do you feel about her performance? She has to do her job. Her job is to guard the, the other person's point guard from baseline to baseline. If you ever see her sitting on the bench, it's because she's not doing her job. It's very yeah. simple. Like I said, beans and rice. When she does her job, we're a really good ball club. So. Lastly, defense is spot on tonight. What was implemented in practice yesterday for this to be so successful today? Lots and lots of running. <laughs> lots yes, of running. That's yes. all we did. Thank you so much. Thank OJ, you. thank you. All right. Thank you to Maya Johnson as we have a great side report. I mean, Simmons is one of those coaches that you will run through a brick wall for. And uh, she definitely makes me want to as well. As we will go into halftime, we'll go to break. We'll be right back here on the Gramlin State University Sports Television Network. the best our kicker stubs his toe on the ball and pretty sure our mascot has his costume on backwards but this this is our team no matter what we are exactly what you think we are not at all what you think we are past present and future all in one. Because the best way to honor our history is to make history. General Motors, honored to sponsor the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Coach here always orders his usual, but he just met Whataburger's Southern Bacon Double with crispy bacon, crunchy slaw, and a tangy sauce. Good call, Coach. Mm, mm. The limited time Southern Bacon Double from Whataburger. Just like you like it.
press, this full court press has been working on for both teams because they're both have been forcing turnovers with the full court press. So I, I think both, I say great job. Now two, three, he has made this half. He Bohemian, he didn't let that he was one for four in the beginning. He's showing out that he is now two for two. As we see a smile, a little bit of a smile on Dante Jackson's face as his team starts to step.
Welcome back here to the Grambling State University Sports Television Network. I'm Onazi Morris alongside Cleveland Jones, and we are getting the second half underway as Grambling State University scores 45-32. Grambling State University has a 13-point lead as the bands are just reluctant to stop playing. <laughs> we have to get the second half underway, children. Hey, come on. You know that HBC, <laughs> you know that HBC hey. environment really get to see it. Hey, at least they didn't even stop abruptly. They made sure they finished the song off. I, I love that for them. As Grandma State University is going to take it out. Preen, Preen out there on the floor. You got the original starting lineup out there. Grant with the dribble layup. Grant being one of our starters. Anija Grant, Demaya Young out there as well. Jasmine Jackson. DP, and last but not least, Brenda McKinney. And we, see, we see Grant come out there. They're picking up right where they left off at the end of that second half. We had the big run at the end with the three-pointers coming in, dominating. We see Grant come in and get the easy two to set it off and extend that lead to 15 points now. Chris with the strong dribble drive, but Prian's going to pick up the foul. She's just a defensive workhorse. She doesn't stop as Grambling State University is partly has this lead because of her, a big lead at that as going to take the foul. And Grambling State University leading scorer right now is going to be Jasmine Jackson. She has 15 points. Our second leading scorer is going to be Demaya Young. And the reason why Demaya Young and Jasmine Jackson have so many points is because of those three-pointers. They yeah. were knocking down in that second quarter. I mean, like it was no tomorrow. Just didn't see him really stop making those threes. As Prian with the dribble drive is going to be fouled in the process and go to the free throw line for two. And to that point, we really haven't seen Jasmine Jackson miss a three. She's still five for five for the day. She's oh, perfect. Oh, man. I mean, every shot. And these are not just regular threes that Jasmine Jackson is oh, putting no. up. I mean, she's a good two or three feet away from the arc when she's releasing the ball. So, I mean, this impressive work by Jasmine Jackson and Demaya Young, who's been shooting threes from the same amount of range as Jasmine Jackson tries to find tries to find number 15, Grant. Grant. It's no good as there's a lot of physicality down in the paint, and that ball will be given to Arizona State University. And that physicality really has been one of the, the uh, headlines for the game. One of the trends we have seen, we've seen Grambling State Tigers go down there and pull down 21 boards on a team that they are undersized with. So that physicality has been a big part of our game so far. Most definitely. As we heard Tamaya Johnson interview during halftime, I mean, Coach, John, uh, Coach Simmons has not lost two games in a row since 2016, which is a great feat. And Arizona State right now are 3-0, and so... This has been an amazing game so far that they've been able to play high intensity as Grambling State University forces a turnover in Arizona, uh, Arizona State. I mean, Grambling State University will have the ball, and checking in will be Treasure Hunt, and checking out will be Thompson for Arizona State University. Only new face on the court so far. And for on the court for uh, Arizona State, of course, you have Simmons, their leading scorer, Blesslink, Wiggins, Hunt, and last but not least, Torre as the shot will be good. A layup in the paint by no other than McKinney. As McKinney has now eight points in the game so far. Simmons finds Torre. Torre puts the shot up and it's going to be no good as Young gets the rebound. She'll take it the other way as the ball will be picked off by Simmons. Simmons finds Torre and the layup will be good as there was a lot of back and forth there and Arizona State University will be the ones who gets the bucket. It's really been an uncharacteristically quiet game for Simmons so far. Only tallying four points with two, two personal fouls and two rebounds. Usually one of their leading scorers letting away being carried right now by Torre and Chris. Seeing her kind of tee it up is a, seeing her more getting to her stride for real. As most definitely as we have Jasmine Jackson shot that mid-range shot and it, drew, it rims around the rim a little bit and it will be no good. But Grandma State University will have the ball still and Carter will check in for Grandma State University and Priya will come out and Amanda Blake as well will check in for Grandma State University. Jasmine Jackson passes it to Grant. Grant shot no good. 
it was interesting. You see Jackson get it in the corner. You kind of felt the air in the gym kind yeah. of go away for a little bit. I, I kind of thought she was going to shoot it. Yeah, I thought she was going to let it go too, but she didn't. Simmons had Carter on her, but Jackson switches off. Simmons with the dribble layup and will not go, and Amanda Blake will get the rebound. And Amanda Blake fighting for her life to get up out of there. She'll take Damn, it up. Pushing it, she's pushing it up as well. She's going to pass it to Carter. Carter's going to slow the tempo, direct traffic as Amanda Blake sets the screen. Carter goes around it. Carter fakes the pass, takes the dribble drive, and the layup will be no good as Hunt. Good defense on that end. Westlink takes the layup, and it's going to be blocked. And Wiggins is going to take the mid-range shot, and she's going to be fouled in the process for an and one bucket. Score now is 49-36 with the opportunity for Arizona State to make it 37 and cut that lead that Grambling State University down a little bit as they have a 13-point lead right now. With the questionable call, we're starting to see Arizona State really starting to play at what we tend to notice and associate with more of Grambling State's pace. Starting to see them try and get the steals and get up in a fast break and really get abused their size advantage that they feel like they have. Just haven't been successful. Oh, the first miss three-pointer from Jackson comes there as they miss it. Score still sits 49-36, and it's going to be it's going to be called a charge on Wiggins. Great work there by Carter as she was able to set up and get her feet right. Graham State University will have possession of the ball, but first. Three-pointer missed by Jasmine Jackson. You kind of heard it get quiet in here oh, when that shot went up, but it does not fall. But I'm pretty sure that's not going to be the last time we see them attempt a three as Carter takes it up. It was Sit. almost unbelievable to see. Almost like we couldn't truly accept that it really didn't go <laughs> that in. That it didn't go in, especially with the way things have been going. Jasmine Jackson finds Carter. Carter finds Casey Chairs. Casey Chairs thought about it, but she will travel again. Second, Second time yeah. tonight that she's traveled. And Coach Simmons does not like the sight of that as she will check her out. A little too excited. Got a little bit too excited, yeah. Got to put that yeah. ball down before you take that first step. You yeah. Just, come can't, on now. You can't, can't hold on to the ball like that. And she wanted that's the second. Man. Both of the times she traveled came from pump fake. So Lit every single little, time. Every single threat. time. Got to get that foot down. Threat, pump fake. As Torre finds Wiggins. Wiggins with Jasmine Jackson in front of her. Simmons has the ball. Preen in front of her. Preen Hunt with the shot up, and it's going to be no good. But Demaya Young is going to foul her in the process, so Hunt will go to the free throw line. 4-2. The score still sits at 49-36 with five minutes and 35 seconds left in this third quarter. Hunt first free throw is going to be good. It's going to bring that lead down of Grand State University down to 12. As both of these coaches are primarily new as Simmons' first year with Grand State University as the second free throw drops for Hunt. And Adair, this is her second year with Arizona State University. Her last school was Delaware and Simmons' last school was Troy in the Sun Belt Conference as Jasmine Jackson will get the rebound. It's going to be a jump ball. Possession is going to go to Grandma State University, so Grandma State University is going to keep it. Jasmine Jackson, uh, Preen, excuse me, Preen will be taking it out. It's always interesting to see a player when they're having a streaky game like this, like Jackson is having. You start to see the effects that scoring can have on the other aspects of the game. Usually Jackson being more of a catch-and-shoot kind of player. We see her go down there, get the second chance, rebound. And Young for another one, too oh extended for four out of five. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Almost almost sent, sent Blessling to the hospital with that move <laughs> and that step back as Demaya Young was able to get the tray ball to fall. And that's another one for as That was a hard screen set by Blessling. And Preen is still down. Wiggins finds Torre. Torre finds Bless Link, and Bless Link will get the bucket and one bucket to fall. But Perrine took a hard screen right at half court. 
Florida for a minute, but I mean, goodness gracious, I think Bless Link was trying to get her lick back after Demaya Young yeah, hit she that tapped, nasty She definitely had a receipt ready for that three-pointer. Demaya, oh, Demaya Young with that nasty move on Bless Link, but they've taken a timeout on the court, so we will as well. We'll be right back on the Grand State University Sports Television Network. <laughs> 